Geezer. I'm going to Geezer. need you to make me some coils. Bloody hell, I'm going to make you coils. Easy, with a new data list system. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Vapor Geezer. So, are you ready, Geezer? No. Right, hello, everybody, and welcome back. This week, we have finally got our hands on the data list coil building system, and... Dudders, who has never even seen it out of his box before, is going to show you how simple it is to make coils. I promise you, it's that simple. Even a monkey could do it. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think you're, you're putting too much faith in me. But let's see again. Where, where, do we, where do we start? I think... Start off with, we got the clap and the coil master coil maker right. some time ago. Okay. That thing was shocking. We were going to come back with a second video on how it all works. And... Better way to use it. I found the best way to use it. I stuck it in a drawer. I never fucking took it out again. That's <laughs> yeah. the best thing to do with it. I don't know what you could do with that fuck army. Yeah. But somebody in the comments all that time ago told us to get our hands on one of these. We finally did it. We purchased this from China for $36. About 30, 32 okay. quidish. But yeah, I've seen them online anywhere between the 50 quid all the way down to about the 35 quid mark. You go out onto the internet. You find the best deal for yourself, I'm sure you will, but all over the net, anywhere between the fifty dollars max. Yeah. It's about thirty five dollar mark. I he says so. Sure. I'm in the, I am in the blind on this one, Yeah, he is in the blind. I've used it to make the coals we're both using today nice. are both made by me. Very nice. Some fused claptons. Today you're just gonna be making a bit of clapton wire. Okay. All gonna be campful. Just gonna tell you just how simple this is. <laughs> okay. It really is. Right. So um, let's show you what's in the box. Let's have a look what you get and uh show you how to do it. Right, so let's have a butchers, let's get involved. And uh, we'll go from there. You get the main event. I can get it out, look my fat fingers. Yeah. Yep. Main event, drill. Takes two 18650 batteries that I've already installed. Okay. And the battery life on this thing is amazing, I must say. It is absolutely amazing. And that's that's the main event. Okay, right. That's, and there's a few other bits and pieces you get three of these. Okay. But so I'll come back, we'll show you different builds. Gives at different you spares times. for the yeah, bits you need. Bits, everything you need. Yep. So all you need at the moment is this machine. Okay, right. This wire. And this bit of wire we're going to be using here. That uh, is, right. is everything you currently need. <laughs> okay. To, uh, so where do I start? What do I do? Right, you want to clamp th this. Right. First of all, you want to yep. feed this. I'll show you the basics. Feed this through that top hole there. Okay. So just for, for camera purposes, there's a top hole There's three holes, different there. thickness. So you want to feed it through the smallest one. Do not need all this wire, so let's bring that back on. Load that back up. Just, okay. just, just the same length as you've got protruding. Oh, okay, so about... No, no, same length as you've got protruding. All right, that'll do ya. Wrap that thinner wire around a thicker wire a few times. All right, okay. All right, open up the dual chuck. Do you understand that? No, no, I've got a clue what you're talking about. A dual chuck on the drill, this to be no. here. All right, okay, yep. Yeah. Come on, that's a drill chuck. I'm not explaining to you why. It's not a wire to it, so yeah, just do that. Feed that into there, tighten that back on. Right, let's feed this bit through here. Yeah, yeah. Into, into there. Just like that. Both bits of wire together, yeah, make sure they're both together. Uh, together? That's why I said wrap one around the other. Okay. This is very, very fiddly. Not that fiddly, people. That's enough. Don't have to be All right, okay, so not even. Yeah, just a couple of turns. Feed like them that, both yeah. together, yeah. Tighten them up, tighten it back down. Okay. So it can't go any tighter. That sounds about right. Yeah, let's just make sure that is tight enough. No, you could get another couple of turns on there, but I've done that for you. Yep. yep. Okay. Now, the wheel on the side is uh, on this side here. Okay, now, now just to confirm, as people will see, the way I actually wrapped that wire around, there was no grace to it whatsoever. No, so I'm hoping that that's not going to affect the overall product here. Right. And now you've got a forward button. Okay. A backwards button, which I should have shown you in the close up, really. Uh, if we just see from there. Uh, the one is forwards, the two dots are backwards. And on the other side? And... You've got your... This is your speed gauge. Okay. At the moment, okay. it's locked to off. Oh, right, okay. What, right, what does so locked to off mean? It means it's not turning. Look, okay, I'll turn yeah. it on. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Nothing's happening there. That's it. So, so you want to turn it on to forward, which is the forward button. Yep, yeah, okay. And you want to start your spinning wheel. Okay. Right, let's move this back a little bit to there. So that is going insanely slow. Okay, so let's ramp this up a bit, shall we? Keep going. Keep going. Full power. Let go. Well, that is full. Yeah, let go. And that's how simple this machine is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you might want to hold this bit, this drill bit in place just to know, not the back bit, phone, not the back bit. Yeah, just to hold that, that, just okay. for the sake of it. 
I mean, I've got to say, and you might not hear me properly because of the noise of this, but I was really dubious as to how simple this was. And I was a bit precious as to how I was wrapping the wire around. I really, I really thought it was going to make a difference um, to how smoothly, possibly because of our experience with the coal master. Yep. You know, with that one, you had to be really particular in how you had the two wires together. I'm really seriously impressed. Like, seriously, seriously impressed. A little... Could be a bit quicker, maybe. Yeah, it is on full power. Yeah, I'd say that may maybe if it was a drill, it'd be a bit quicker. What we're going to do for you now is get a nice little zoom in. And you can see here, it's a little hole so you can see how much of your wires left. So we will see when we're coming to the end because it comes to the end of the gap. Yeah? I mean, I am seriously, seriously impressed with the ease of this. I think, okay, we can see it's actually coming to the end now. You might not see it on the camera because we're slightly losing it, but I can see it's basically... It's, it's done. It's, it's done. <laughs> I can't believe it. Right, um, so I'm just going to pull it there. As you can see, I've just got to cut. I'm assuming just cut that just bit Just cut there. the whole thin wire. Cut the thin the wire. Okay, yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then just under your chuck. There you go. It's your first ever. Wow. Well, I mean ever as well. Bit of cut. Just, just for the camera. Obviously, it's, you can see at the start there. I mean, I'm not sure how clear the camera will be able to see. It's maybe we do a little zoom in here. Yeah. Right. As you can see from there, I have fed that through terribly, yet has made not a single bit of difference to the rest of the wire. So here we go, here's a, here's a tidy bit of wire. So let's just snip off the unclapped in bit yep. on that bit. And the unclapped end on that side. Yep. And as you can see, we're left with, I mean, that, well, that wasn't a lot of wire. No. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash this. This is a 2.2 mil bit. Yep. Just to show the fans, we'll just give it. And even on that two mil bit of wire, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna stop there. I mean, this is just camphor as well, so yeah. we have a look. This is what you'll find, see? Yeah. Can you see that? Okay. Where well, the clapping's come off the end? Yeah. But that doesn't matter because the bit's come off of. Yeah, it's just a leg. It's not gonna. Of course, yeah, it's not the bit that's carrying the charge. I mean, I just put this on a two mil bit just to show you just that one bit of wire, just how far it will go. I mean, this is a what a one, so two, three, ten wraps there, four, five, six. Yeah, about ten wraps. Look, this could have easily gone. I mean, I only use personally five wraps mm. on a three mil bit, four wraps on mm. a three mil bit, depending on wire. Yeah, but yeah. So I mean, that not that you're gonna install it, but that there is mightily impressive. Let's cut these again. Don't need these bits okay. now. Well, look, should we, uh, should we get back up and give our, our thoughts there on it then? There's your fuse. Congratulations, your first ever cutting coil. Right, so as you can see, that was Davis's Honest to God. First time ever using the Daedalus. Just took it out of the box. Only showed you a bit 10 minutes before that. Yeah. And, I mean, give us a quick... I, I mean, look, I cannot believe how simple it was. I really doubted his confidence in me and my ability and then realised once I started using it, it wasn't confidence in my ability, it was confidence in the product. It was exactly what it was, yes. yeah. It was confidence <laughs> yes. in the product. I mean, as long as you twist two wires together and put it in a chuck. I mean, exactly. If you do what a chuck is. <laughs> Which I didn't. <laughs> get it in a chuck, tighten it down. Basically, if you can do that, I mean, some people don't even put that two wires together no. in the chuck. They want. But that's how I personally, for me, best yeah, way I've had to I, use it. I mean, I was being precious. Wrapping it to, and he's like, just put it in there. Don't be like, stop being precious. But I'm thinking that the so thing just it. took it, it just swallowed it up like an Essex perker. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just gobbled it all up in there, no issues whatsoever. Yeah. And showed it a fucking good time as well. It really did. Did. There was a happy ending, I can tell you that, Mike. So, yeah, I mean, from us, that is just how you clapped in with it. We are going to be bringing you a vlog soon. We in are. the vlog, I'm going to show you how to do different builds of it. So, up next, you'll see how to do a fuse clap Yeah. Gonna give it to our coil master Rissu, see if he can come up with anything even better. Yeah, so and that's how we so we're gonna you're gonna see more of the Daedalus. That was just a quick hands-on, exactly. straight out of the box, whack some batteries in it, set that bad boy up and go. And I think we've got to have to yeah. give it a score then. Yeah, now, but one we? at a time. But one right. at a time, yep. Yeah. Okay, so here he comes, right, ladies and gentlemen. The Bromet comes in. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? What's going up, Gal? <laughs> This, this ah, on a barometer, exactly. full geezer marks from Cannot us. Cannot believe it. It got a full treatment, exactly. it's gone full geezer, yes. top marks, no more marks we could possibly give a product. It can't, it can't be done. Can't yeah, be yeah done. it's not being done yet. <coughs> for us, 
number one best product of the year so far from Vapor Geezer is our new Daedalus Coil Builder. Absolutely. Top mark, Full Geezer! Full Geezer! Yeah, I mean, like I said, Ooh. going forward, we will show some more of it. We will try and be a bit more serene and calm. It's a fucking Full Geezer! You can't just, where are you going to go Full Geezer? Full Geezer, that's it. Full Geezer, you know. Yeah, top, top mark from us. Fantastic yeah. product, fantastic pricing. Yeah, exactly. If you want to save some money, this is the way to go. This is definitely the way to go. Even an idiot can use it. Yep, he can. <laughs> he really can. <laughs> he can. Exactly. Which leaves us, because if I shout anymore, I'm not going to be able to say it. We've only two things left to say, it people. Indeed. And that is, of course, live long and vape. And keep it cloudy, people. We out! All right, guys. It's that time of the video again. You've watched it, but now I need you to like to share and subscribe. And follow us on all social media. That's Facebook, that's Twitter, and that's Instagram, where I'll be sending the big man round.